Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday. Okay, man. So this is the version two of DF64 from a uh, train. So, man, overall, so this is, I got the silver. By the way, I'm gonna big shout out to Joe from Espresso Outlet. So Espresso Outlet is kind of like exclusive in US. So, so DF64 has different names throughout the world. And the so, uh, terrain is one of, uh, kind of like, you know, on one of the name, but still the same as DF64 is DF64. So uh, Joe is, I think, one of, I think only person handles in US. Correct me, I'm wrong, but yeah. Anyway, so let me show you. I'm gonna compare side by side with the version one I'm sitting right here. So I'm gonna be uh, comparing, uh, comparing that this afternoon. And overall, I mean, this thing is pretty solid, okay? Pretty solid, and I have to say, my version two, here, let me show you the version one. So this is the version, you know what, here, let me flip the camera around. Yeah, let me flip the camera around for you so you can see side by side. Uh, looks, Pretty identical. Hold on. Okay, so this one, I think why, uh, last time I, I heard, so this is kind of like sticker, okay? But version two is actual paint, I believe, okay? I think they painted it. I think that's the one thing different there. What else comes to aesthetic from the top? Same home button on the same home button. Okay. Yep. It's the same button as well. Back looks the same. You know what? Let's open this thing up. Okay, I'm gonna open the top up here. Let's open the top. Okay, has obviously we got the yeah. Man, version two and version one. So version uh so this one my so di uh, so this is my version one here. So this is the version one. So I uh, so this one has the SSP the multi-purpose birds inside. So this one is just a stock steel birds. Let 
man, still the disugly springs. Yep, the spring is still the same looking. By the way, if you just got the DF64 recently, make sure to uh, take it out, make sure adjust your spring, okay? Just make sure everything is all. Uh, so, so this is correct way. I'm gonna take this one out as we're seeing. So this one you don't want, just make sure spring is all the way uh, flush to the bottom and to put back in, just like so. Just like that. I'm just gonna do that for all of them. Same as this one as well. Yeah, you don't want this. We just make sure spring is just like this. I'm just gonna make sure everything is in properly. Okay. So this is what you are going to going to get if you buy from Joe. Okay. You're gonna get a version two. Not version one. Version <coughs> excuse me. When it comes to my impression, goodness. I cannot tell the difference between version N and one version two. I thought there's slight revision there, but man, it looks the same. Okay. Same spring. Same, uh, obviously the same steel birds as well. So this is what inside steel birds. And then my plan is I'm going to be replace this one with the the SSP cast birds. Okay. So this is the SSP cast birds. There obviously uh, looks definitely looks different than steel birds, but so I'm going to be upgrading to the cast birds. But comes to version one and version two. I don't see any difference, I have to say, goodness. Uh, except the, the, is that even pain? I'm not sure. The look, maybe not. I mean, even cover, Man, I don't know, guys. It pretty much looks the same to me. Looks same. Version 1 and version 2. Bottom as well. Yep, looks the same as the bottom. Let's take a look. Nope. Yep. Man, they're identical. Uh, comes to, uh, there is no price difference. So I think uh, they're both, uh, 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 again, version one, one is already fade out. So, uh, Joey selling for 449 bucks, 429 or 449, you know, it's still under 450 bucks. Okay. And overall looks, uh, looks identical to me. So this is the version one. I wonder if it's gonna be quieter. I'm not sure, hold on. I'm gonna plug it in, okay. Let's plug it in, let's check it out. I'm just gonna, maybe it has a better motor perhaps. Same thing. Ah, uh, slightly quieter, I think. Version two, maybe slightly quieter. 
slightly quiet. But other than that, I mean, there are a whole lot of difference there, folks. I was hoping for a little bit more difference between version 1 and 2, but overall, looks the same. Pretty much the same price. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you have a option on different colors, but... Uh, same home button as well. Yep, there's no whole lot of difference between those two. I, you know, the, obviously it comes with a plastic cup and personally I do like the plastic cup. Yeah, they're, they're great. Okay. But if you want to, you can actually option to upgrade like some kind of dual sync funnel as well. Okay. You can have a dual sync funnel. Just direct dosing. I think you have some, and also you have a direct dosing to directly do your port filter to dosing funnel as well. So you, and again, so you got some few more options now. Okay. Looks, I mean, looks pretty good overall. But uh, version one and version two. There's no whole lot of difference going on there. Yeah, there's no a lot of whole lot of difference in uh, Dar Rock mentioned about the base on the sticker front. I think in both version two. I may maybe you're right, Dar Rock. I mean, I'm not sure. I, I thought I thought um, this one is version one, but. But do you have version one or version two? I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm talking to Dot Rock. But yeah, overall, oh, by the way, so, I mean, last few months, comes DF64, man, people come up with a lot of different uh, kind of dosing funnel. So this is the metal dosing cup as well. Okay. Yeah, it's a metal dosing cup too, so. Make sure definitely check out the espresso outlet. I think yeah, I think Joe is the only person who sells it in this country. To, for the based on the terrain uh, brand, okay. Again, so they have different names throughout the world, but I mean, comes to price as of right now. Hold on, let me check uh, check the price. I'm gonna look at Joe's website here. Hold on a second. Uh, let's see. Uh, you can uh, pre-order, deliver is on. He's gonna, he says he's going to deliver middle of the June. Okay. June delivery. Some, yeah, sometime in June. $445. Okay, $445. And then you have a couple of options as well. You can upgrade to SSP. So this one comes with stock birds. So this is a stock burst here. So what I'm going to do is this week, uh, next couple of days, uh, let's see here, since I have, okay, since I have the multi-purpose burst on my uh, DF64 here, and also I have a high uniformity on my P64, okay? I got HE burst, I got the MP burst, I got stock burst. So I'm going to be doing some comparison uh, coming days. So let's find out, is that worth upgrading, okay, your burr option? Because uh, additional burr is going to be cost you about what? Uh, SSP, SSP burrs are, the regular HU and MP burrs are like 180. And the CAS burrs I have, that's additional like 200 bucks. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, I mean, that is quite a bit. So. I mean, that's half the price of your grinder, so. So I'm going to be uh, doing some find out for you guys. And then uh, what else? I'm gonna, we got some, I'm gonna, man, we got some uh, friends from Korea as well. Let's see, here we got Riroi from Holland. You got, uh, shout out to Chuck. Uh, by the way, it's so hot outside, guys. It's like 110 degree outside, goodness. 
and uh, there's no price difference. I think uh, I think he sells uh, pretty much the same price, 445 bucks. Let's see here. You got Rappo, maybe Clump Cluster. Yeah, you might be right. Clump uh, the, the has the the inside has the the clump. Okay, the the older one is a silicone, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, Mary, we got the Justin's on. We got Map. Okay, hold on. It's a Matt ask where SSP makes worth upgrading or is Stackboard good enough? Yep. So you know what, Matt? Uh, let's find out. Okay, we're gonna we go, we're gonna do some blind tasting. Okay, since we have the all three birds. Actually, in reality, we have four, and I have the cast birds, but which means I need another grinder for that. But we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna play with the HU. Uh, HU and MP and stock birds. Okay, so let, we, we, we're gonna do the uh, the bird comparison. Okay, okay, you got the uh, Yala. I'm gonna shout out to Yala as well. Yeah, uh, Noon is not my name. Uh, Hoon is my name. Okay, Yala. Hoon, not Noon, Hoon. Okay, shout out to ya uh, I think Yala. Yala Yolo. I, I hope it's the right name. I, I hope I'm pronounce that person's name correctly. Okay. So anyway, so we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna have some fun next few days. So we got MP birds. We got the HU. And regular stock birds. Okay. So stock birds. You know what? I don't know. What do you guys think? It's gonna be. It's gonna be any taste difference. Because I heard. Okay, uh, from a lot of uh, friends out there. Hold on, let me show you this Casper. I heard this Casper is pretty spectacular. So, so once we finish with uh, stock birds, and then I'm gonna switch into here. Okay, I'm gonna put this one on, and uh, we're gonna do some more testing. Done. Okay. But it comes to again the price is but price is pretty good four hundred forty five bucks, yeah. Four hundred forty five bucks, really good price. I mean I love the look, okay. I love the look and feel of it. So we'll see, guys. Okay. Anyway, I hope you guys are staying cool right now. Unlike my friends at Australia, they are winter time. But yeah, but here in US. Man, it is pretty hot. Okay, it is pretty hot. So, and let's see here. Uh, comes to beer quality is fine. Okay. I mean DF sixty four as you can see. I mean I mean looks great. Feels good. Yes, you cannot compare that with the P sixty four for sure. But you know what? Goodness, so much cheaper. Okay. So much cheaper. Otherwise, is a look I ask has a, a version two just has been released. Uh, I think so. This uh, version to release, I believe, on uh, uh, last couple months. Okay, I think last few months. Because I thought I had a version one, but who knows? Okay. And the hashtag ask. Uh, I have a too many grinder for sure. I mean, you, you know what? Maybe you're right. Hashtag. I think I have too many, but okay. Uh, SSP has a four different sets of bird set. No, three. Wait, hold on. We got the SSP three, and also uh, we are talking about 64 millimeter. So 64 millimeter, we got uh, SSP, uh, HU, MP, cast, and also uh, optional is going to come up with their version of a uh, 64 millimeter as well. You got four and also we have a gorilla birds too so we have five goodness you got five birds for 64 millimeter so right now if you guys are looking for a coffee grinder i highly recommend 64 millimeter okay i highly recommend 64 millimeter uh grinder because you have a lot more options or if not you know you know just just pick one okay just pick one but if you guys are into, you know, if a coffee is your hobby, obviously 64 is way to go. 64 millimeter flat bird. Because you have so many bird options there. I mean, if you're not into that, you know, just go wet. 
maybe some cheaper conical burrs too. So yeah, again, uh, great thing about options. Let's see here. We have Richard. You got ja Jadi. Just tried the Hatch Coffee today. Because Jadi loves the, sounds like Jadi likes the Hatch Coffee. Okay, Rain says 64, it is. All right. Let's see who else. We got the, we got the Jadi from Saudi. 125 degree under, under shade. 125. That is hot. That is hot there. All right. So anyway, so next few days, uh, we're going to have some fun, guys. We're going to have some lot of fun with, goodness, even three grinders alone. We got the uh, HU, MP, and Stockbirds. So we're going to make some coffees with it. We're going to do espresso one day, and the following day, let's do a pour over, like V60 or some kind of filter coffee as well. And then let's find out which one is suitable for, you know, different method. And let's see here. I mean, overall, I'm pretty impressed. Okay. You know, let me show you the, the quietness. Hold on. Okay, so let's start with the uh, so optional. Okay, listen. No, never mind. Hold on a second, guys. This unplugged. I'm just going to plug it on the back. So this is HU. Pretty quiet, isn't it? So this is the optional P64. This is the SSP DF64 and P burst. You know what seems uh, seems louder, okay? This one here is a uh, uh, stock burst. Man, I'm telling you, I, I wonder is it because it's SSP, the way it's shaped, but much louder than uh, stock birds. Hmm. Very interesting, guys. Very interesting. All right. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a stay cool. Okay, stay cool right now. Hold on. Uh, hashtag mention the niche zero 64 millimeter is the best value for home. You know what? Uh, let's compare that too. Okay, let's uh, uh, put the conical bar, the niche as well. Okay, so we're gonna do some comparison with. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's do some comparison. Uh, let's see. Hold on a second. Who, uh, do we have a giveaway of the MK3? What's MK3? I don't know. I don't know what MK3 is. It's a look. I ask, do you have a bird alignment? When is change of birds touring? Have been a okay, good speed control? Okay. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. Because this. Yeah, it seems quieter, isn't it? This is version 2. This is a version of, you know what, I don't know. Hold on a second here. You know what, hold on. Okay, so here's the main difference. So this is something new. Okay, check this out. Now look at the base here. Okay, I'm gonna start it. You see that sl slightly shakes. Yeah, I can see the shake. With uh, this one here, it's not shakes at all. This one has much uh, has a better speed control for sure. Could be my image, yeah. I mean, this one entire grinder is sh uh, shift. Cool. Hopefully, you guys can see it. But where this one, this is the uh, uh, yeah, this one is not shift. 
Hmm. I wonder, okay, uh, I wonder the difference between version 1 and version 2. Uh, it could be the, the speed control perhaps. And uh, Richard thinks that version 1 uses more than version 2. Uh, I don't think so, okay. The reason, the reason is, uh, if, so this one I've, I mean, I, I use for a long time. Whenever I start the button, entire grinder ships, okay. But this one, the this one's new one, it does not. So definitely has better control there for sure. Okay. Again, I mean, I think that's the one thing because uh, this one was the uh, one complaint, and I had uh, when I purchased uh, uh, when I got this uh, what well, sometime last year, when I pressed the button, the motor has too much power to just shifting. But with this one, nice now. Nah, just. Yeah, it's, it's pretty solid. Okay, pretty solid there. Uh, uh, rain say out of balance? I don't think so, okay? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, hold on. I wonder, Ed, uh, Mike, if you're still on, do you, is your grinder shift whenever you start the button? Yeah, let me know, okay? Love to hear it. All right, hold on. I think we are, let's see your story. The last comment, the version 2 would have been great for variable speed like option. Okay. Uh, you know what? Variable, the adding another speed control on this one is not that hard to do. But, man, I mean, again, so you got to make a little hole there, controller. I don't know. I'm not sure that's because I know the, 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 the key to this grinder is you want to be the simple grinder that, you know, very affordable because I learned that years ago. Okay. So this DF64 design has been out for a long, long time. Okay. First time they came out years ago, they're selling for $275 way back when. Okay. We are talking about way back when that's retail for 275. So. So let's put that, you know, so let's put it out there. The 275 way back when. I mean, think about the niche grinder. It's a niche grinder. They're sitting for around 800. And uh, one of our friend, the Barrett, he actually break it apart and show us the what's, you know, how it's made of. It, it's, it's pretty interesting. Very, very simple design. Just motor and birds. I mean, just like the F64 as well. So, I mean, so this grinder, you don't want to make things more complicated, but I mean, comes to P64, that's, we are comparing apple to orange, but the birds are birds, okay? Comes to, I don't know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying it out. Okay, I'm really looking forward to try it out as well. Uh, J uh, Jaddy asked, can you try the Ch uh, Chiara grinders? Uh, we already did. Okay, we already have. Uh, we did that last year as well. Uh, I was playing with uh, E37S last year with the Chiaros. Great grinder. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, 83 millimeter. So yeah, they're great grinders. But I mean, I prefer single dose lately. I mean, for the home, I, I prefer single dose. All right, guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday afternoon. And I'm going to be back, okay? So we're going to do some, a lot of comparison coming days. You know, it'd be really funny that, you know, if uh, coffee from Stockbirds is better than MP and high uniformity. I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys, see you guys next time.